Hello and welcome to my brand new course about animations in Flutter. I'm very happy to announce that this course is now available for early access on my website. I created this course because with Flutter you can truly build beautiful UIs and I wanted to teach you exactly how to do it. So if you're excited and you want to buy the course now, just pop this URL into your browser and you'll be on your way. In any case, in this video I want to give you a quick course overview so that you have a clear roadmap of the topics that we will cover. So let's take a look at what's inside. We will start simple and see how easy it is to use implicit animations in Flutter. In fact, the first lesson of this course will include a simple game that uses animations and this will be a great way to get started. And once we have covered the main principles and fundamentals, we will take our first UI challenge where we will build this stopwatch application entirely from scratch. And this will be a great opportunity to learn about tickers and matrix transforms, which are two very important topics when it comes to animations in Flutter. And once we are done with this, we will move on and focus on this habit tracking application, which is the main project of this course. So here is a quick overview of what we will build. We will create this custom task completion ring and learn about custom painters, explicit animations and gesture detectors in Flutter. And we'll figure out how to make this into a reusable widget that can be used inside this grid layout. Then we'll take a short break from animations and focus on local data persistence using the Hive package. And we'll use this to save all these tasks on local storage so that the app always shows the correct data even if we kill it and restart it. And we'll also see how we can easily deal with state management using the Riverpod package so that we can see how everything fits together and build a strong foundation for the rest of the project. Once we are done with this, we'll get back to animations and implement this interactive page flip transition so that we can show six additional items. And I had to admit that this is one of my favorite features because it makes the app so much more fun to use. And once we are done with this, we will implement this bottom panel that slides in and out when we click on the settings gear. And then we will focus on advanced theming and learn how to completely customize the color palette that is used in the app. And this is an example of a great feature that can really delight our users. So not only we will implement multiple themes with different colors, but each theme will also have three different variants. And I should also point out that all theme changes are animated. And to enable this, we will learn about some advanced animation techniques. And of course, because this is a habit tracking app, we will also need to add some UI so that we can add and edit tasks. And as part of this, we'll be able to choose the task name along with a custom icon. So by taking this course, you will get a lot of experience building custom UIs with animations with great attention to detail, and you'll have this beautiful app to show for it. All along, we will also focus on app architecture and good coding practices, because I want to show you how to build a real app. And all the lessons in this course include detailed explanations so that you will get a deeper understanding of all the topics that we will cover. And by the way, I'll also include some extra challenges which are designed for you to practice and really reinforce all the concepts and techniques that you have learned in the course. These challenges are optional, but I think you'll get a lot of value out of them. And of course, you'll have access to the full source code for every project in the course. And I'll also offer premium support so that you can ask questions if you get stuck. In fact, you're very welcome to join my Slack channel, which is a community of over 1000 developers who are learning Flutter with my courses and tutorials. So once again, if you want to master animations in Flutter, this course will teach you everything you need by building multiple projects and covering all the most important animation techniques. Okay, so there is just one thing left to cover, and that is where can you buy this course and how much does it cost? Well, the course is on my website and you can go to this page by popping this URL on your browser. Once you get here, you can find all the details that you need. And if you want, you can even sign up to get a free preview of some of the lessons in the course. Or if you are ready to buy, you can click on this link to find all the latest pricing information. Starting today, the course is available to everyone for early access and it comes in two different packages. The first one will cover the first four modules of the course and include three hours of video, while the complete package will include 10 modules and should have around seven hours of video by the time I finish recording the course. So while the course is in early access, you can buy it for a discounted price of $45 and save over $30 on the final price. 
So once again, today is the best time to buy the course for a discounted price and already get a ton of value. And in the coming weeks, I'll be adding all the remaining content. So I hope that you are as excited as I am about this course and you can find the link to buy the course in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.